This is Dave Trumbo back with Coach Emma Lorenzen. Uh, nice win tonight. Again. It doesn't matter who you put out there. Absolutely. Yeah, I felt like they really played well tonight. Tell me a little about, was that the game plan going in to use those kind of lineups tonight? Yeah, we knew with Michaela having her senior night tonight that she's got a lot of court experience and just with her ability to play beach and knows the court well that we could run a 6-2 or a 5-1 with her and with no issues. So we practiced both. We did the 5-1 at practice. Michaela was like, no, I want to hit. So we moved her to the 6-2. <laughs> she was a right side for us. And um, one of the conversations we've been having at practices a lot is like the week before me and getting as many girls as we can. And we all work really, really hard in practices, and I'm really starting to see that, that we can kind of mix that up as much as possible. So I wanted to go ahead and do that, and I think we, we're confident going into it. So, yeah. oh, you know, Personally, I thought you had a lot of guts. Yeah. Uh, this, you know, I, I build this as a must win. Yeah. If you don't win, you're not, probably not going to the playoffs. Yep. You know, and if Hood doesn't win, they're definitely not going to the playoffs. Yep. So this sets up the York up there, Widener down here, mm -hmm. possibility of getting the third seed. <laughs> And going to Messiah for semifinals. Yeah, I just I, th I just knew that the girls could do it. I knew they could take care of business tonight. We watched a lot of film on Hood, and everybody was really locked in this week. So I'm really proud of us. Okay. Well, the three-headed libero tonight. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah. So we kind of sat a little bit in practices, and they're all kind of around the same same range. So we kind of went with that, and we knew we wanted to see them in each set this week or this tonight. So they were able to kind of just take care of business that way. Well, Nicolette had eight digs, but mm -hmm. a lot of times that just the way the game kind of goes. Yeah. But I counted Bella's passes tonight, and I'm not sure she didn't. I know she had at least five threes. Yeah. You know, absolutely. in other words, right to the setter, so we can you can hit Zay and Lily. Lily had a career game tonight, five for eight, five block assists tonight. Yeah. So she was saying, I don't want to leave this court anymore. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, so. Bella's strength is definitely her serve receive, mm -hmm. and I'm just really proud that she was kind of able to take that space this mm -hmm. weekend and just did a really good job. Well, good luck in – so your next game – oh, you're going on the road. Yeah. Washington yeah. and Lee, they're number 17 now. Yeah. And Roanoke. So that's a, that's a league match, an ODAC match for them, and then yep. you'll get to get – You uh, got them, Roanoke. Uh, Washington and Lee after. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And, mm -hmm. All right, that'll be a tough and a challenge. Yeah. So uh, good luck, and we'll be back on the air October 31st against number three Hopkins. So don't miss that one.